All right, hi everyone. Oops, focus. My f camera doesn't want to focus here. Maybe give it something to focus on. There we go. Um, pattern focus is where we're headed. I'm gonna go down here to this one, which is pushy swirl. Oh, how pretty is that? Ooh, I like that. Okay, so uh, your green is pencil. So we're gonna make a pencil grid. It's just a basic grid in pencil. And then on this line, uh, we're gonna put the dots, big circles. And then we're going to do going up and coming down. So some, two of them are gonna go up, two of them are gonna go down, so about half and half, right? And then it looks like we're going to then aura it like this. Um, twice. So we're gonna do an aura twice. And then when we get that one done where it's time to do this last one we're going to come up and around to the middle there and then this one's going to connect to that and up and around like that and this one the same thing okay and then we're going to take those lines and we're going to make like continue them so it's going to look like it comes up and through those ones i think i can figure that out and then so the last thing we're going to do is we're going to make this little spiky bit again between where it seems to be missing one. Well, it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to give that a go. Turn on my light. Close your eyes, everyone. Ah! I'm just going to go diagonally across my tile here. Um, I'm going to give myself a little border. Do I need a border? Nah, probably don't even need a border. Okay, so I'm going to make myself this grid. I'm going to start with that. And that. And that. And then... Something like that. One, two, three, four. Okay. And my pan. Okay, so right in the middle of that grid there. Can you guys see? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I'm going to put this circle right there. Like that. And two of them are going to go this way from here up to there and here up to there and then two of them are going to go the other way down to there and down to there all right so far so good and this one is going to have an aura and you stop at that pencil line. Kind of like sand swirl. But we can stop at that pencil line. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to do it one more time. Stopping at that pencil line. third one ends up right in the corner there like that 
And this one comes around and hits that same one and ends up in there. That one hits that. And this one comes around and hits that corner. Okay. So far, so good. Next. This one comes This one comes down like it's connecting to that one. And then this one comes I could come up a little more down like it's connecting to that one. And this one comes like it's connecting to this one, like that. And the same here, that goes through like it's connecting to that one. And this one goes through like it's connecting to that one. And this one comes like it's connecting to up here. And that one doesn't. Okay. And then and then this looks like it's missing one and this looks like it's missing one. So you make ones that kind of match with one, two, three like that, and one, two, three like that. That is the pattern. Then we can erase. I feel like it needs something else because that's not a fully developed tile. But the pattern itself wasn't that hard. But I feel like it needs more. Um, but I still want this as the focal. You know, I'm thinking I'm a holly bar. Yeah. Okay. trash is here. That's good. Glad our trash is being picked up. The contractor filled up our barrel today. I think I'm going to put a lot of these, but I'm going to put a few. have a rhyme or reason of where I'm putting them. Just places.
something like that. Just a simple background for that pattern. I don't want it to get too lost. Um, what I think I will do is I'm going to completely big shade all around it. Which I don't always do, but when I have a focal pattern, I like to do that. And what I'll probably do is I'll sh use shading, I'll use a graphite and a dark shadow for the hullabah in the background. And then I'll use the white pencil to do highlights on my pushy swirl tangle. And then it'll really make it stand out, especially if I've got this dark... All around the edge. So I'm going to do this where they overlap. Like that. I think maybe here where they go under the frame as well. Okay. Blending. I'm going to use my bigger stump to blend out this because I want it to just be dragged way out. It's easier with the bigger one. That immediately makes it just stand right off the page, doesn't it? Perfect. Okay. And then I'm going to get my little one and do these. They don't need to be quite so vigorous. Just like that. So this looks a lot like sand swirl. It looks like a sand swirl with a spike. I feel like I've done this one before, but maybe not. I don't know. There's so, so many of them out there. I know I've done a sand swirl variation, but maybe this wasn't the one. I do like sand swirl. It's an easy one to remember. Okay, I like that. I want to push the background even further back, back here. Oh, how do I want to do that? I don't know. Let me do my white highlights first. For sure, this. Wow, look at that. That's cool. And then...
Ooh, I love that. And then do I want to do this? Probably. Okay, and then I want a little bit of just a little bit of shadow here, and there, there, and there, like that. And then I want to push that further back and so the way I'm going to do that I think is I'm going to get my little tiny 05 and I'm going to 005 I'm just going to put some just some little lines in here they're not even all going to go the same direction. It's fine, they don't have to. Give it some interest by having them go different ways. Gives it sort of a gray tone without coloring. See how that works? Just gray it out a little bit. Okay, yep. I'm happy with that, which is good because it's what I'm doing. One more. Uh, what angle do I want? This one, I think. Just trying to make them all a little bit different. Give it some variety. There we go. That looks good. 
I'm happy with that. I need to sign my concoction here with the name of the thing, which was something about swirl, spiky swirl, pushy swirl. One pushy swirl coming up. Done for the day. I like that. Okay, zoom in on it so I can get a nice finished picture for my thumbnail. Okay, you guys have a really great day. I will see you tomorrow. I'm 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 done for the day, I think. I'm gonna go put my feet up, watch some watch some TV. Make some dinner, maybe. That might be a novel idea. I don't do that very often. Maybe I'll make some dinner. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.